You said you're a sports fan. Were you excited about that? Were you rooting for the, for the Cubs? I flipped like 10 times because I love Cleveland. I also love Chicago. And uh, the 30 for 30 on Steve Bartman kind of soured me on Cubs fans because they really had that whole Mr. Smith goes to Washington sort of like, you know, heroes. Like, yeah, we let's play two. And, you know, we win some, we lose some. And then you just see what they did to that kid. It's like, oh, these are the oh, same. You're talking about the kid that you know, tried to catch yeah. the ball. With 12 other people that for some reason didn't get in trouble. They all picked <laughs> this guy because it right. landed on him. And I just looked at him like, you guys, are this, these are the same pieces of who vote for the Red Sox, root for the Yankees. You're all the same people. So then I was like, ah, oh, I'll root for the Indians. Then they went up three games to one. And all of a sudden, Indian fans started talking trash, saying how they were going to be a dynasty or something like that. They were, they were title town. And I was like, to hell with Cleveland. I'm really like a, I'm just like a contrarian. Yeah, I'm getting that sense very much. Like, it's enjoyable. You need to be medicated. Like, is no, what you need to No, it's enjoyable to be out here when Hillary loses, right? Like, I wouldn't want to be in Kentucky when Hillary loses and everybody's skipping around. That's boring, you know? The whole thing is just like about annoying people. Like when people tweet, it's very easy to piss off one side. The art is to try, you gotta try to get everybody. <laughs> so you tweet stuff like, Trump is such a dope, he's actually gonna make me vote for a woman. Right? <laughs> and then you just sit back. <laughs> then you just sit back. Intentionally. And you just watch him, you're like, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. <laughs> you he, got everyone yelling at you. Eating cereal out of a box. Well, what are you yeah. eating cereal for? <laughs> Hey, what about the NFL? I know you're a big NFL uh, fan. You love football. Huge. Yes, I do. Uh, declining ratings. Do you think the NFL has a problem? They're starting to say they're losing viewership. No. Do you care? People who care about football st are still watching it. They just got, they got too big. They just went all poppy. They had everybody dressing in pink, right? <laughs> There's always jets flying over, support the troops. Katy Perry's doing a dance, right? They just, they just took it way too far. <laughs> You know what I mean? How, do you, how are you not into like watching like the Sunday night game, the Monday night game? You're not a football fan. I just think that they went, they went too crazy with it. Right, so it'll settle. Yeah. It'll, it'll, it'll find... settle in. Hopefully they'll finally get that whole pink scam out of there too. You know? <laughs> Isn't it like one half or one half or one half percent actually goes to somebody who has like a head cold and then the rest of them go out and buy like these giant pink yachts? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Andy, help me out here. Do you know how they wear pink? They wear yes, pink for a whole month. To, uh, support uh, breast cancer. Yes, no, breast cancer. Raises awareness. That's what I thought he was talking about. It raises awareness. It raises awareness. It makes That's sure all that it you're is? aware oh. that there's breast cancer. I thought cancer. it was raising money somehow. You're not paying attention. <laughs> They're throwing well, not, the tiny not to pink wide flag. I knew, yeah. I knew, I knew about supporting, yeah, supporting breast cancer. But you, you see, okay, so you, you think there's too much of that? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> No, I'm just saying that I, I was on, you know, the internet, and I was reading that a lot of the money just goes into their pockets. So I was like, all right, I want to agree with that and say that that's true, and then repeat it on a talk show. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. F is for Family, season two. <laughs> there's, no, there's no smooth transition. There's no smooth transition. <laughs> You want me to make up a transition, uh, you know? No, it's You're fun. pretty it's, funny. It's fine. Which starts with F. <laughs> F is for family. Oh, yes. Season two, edgy for a comedy show, for an uh, animated show. Yes, uh, that's because we're on Netflix and they let us basically do whatever we want. In fact, the first season, um, their network notes were push it further, which is basically the dream if you're in a writer's room. Right. And um, we, yeah, we just have been having a great time. And um, you try to base it in reality. It's loosely based on my childhood and I uh, had a very volatile father, you know? Loved the guy to death, but he definitely uh, could have brought the volume down a little bit sometimes. <laughs> but, um, you know, he was in his underwear a lot. And uh, I think a lot of people can relate to that. Yeah, I think but so. But if you make it a real person and they're screaming at real kids, people get nervous, so. But if you draw them, people don't care about animated kids, so. <laughs> <laughs> you get away with it. That's true. You get away with it. That's true.